Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? The music is too loud. How you doing? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Because I totally forgot that I never talked about what's coming up in this month in Dragalia. So it's a little bit late. <laughs> Over six days late since we got it. But I did want to just see what was coming up in this month in Dragalia. At this point I already knew. Um, but I still kind of want to talk about some of the stuff coming up. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to hit that like. Thumbs up, comment about what you're looking forward to in the month, and let's get into it. So first things first, I'm just going to quickly talk about Yeah. This is basically saying the Stealth Dance theme song. I hope you like this. Uh, in the Aguido Uprising, Master Guilty Difficulty was added. Yep, we all know that. Galaxy showed up. Galaxy, she's great. Uh, so the plans for this month, an onslaught event will start around mid-August. This event will be set during the Summer Festival and will feature adventures and special festival attire. We'll also add one special quest to Dragon Battles to hope you look forward to it. Okay. So that should be another, like, just a week-long event and then it's over with. Alright. Very interested to see how that's gonna look out. I really hope it doesn't look cheap, like the starting summer. But that means is that, man, we would have had three summer events this year. That's crazy. I wonder if this is also going to have a summer b banner. Because I honestly didn't think that they would get more than two or something, but I didn't think we would get more than the amount of summer units that we got currently, so it's kind of weird to me, but hey, you know, whatever. Sounds cool. Wait to see it. Should be easy to grind, uh, which you're going to have to start grinding for a very good reason. Uh, starting late August, we'll revive Crescendo of Courage facility event. The story is connected to a splash of adventure. I love this event. This event is amazing. Why is this event so amazing? I think this is the greatest event to ever be about a singular character and just trying to make them happy. There's not a really, there's not a lot of stakes. I'm gonna be honest with you. The story is all about throwing a concert. And that is the only stakes, but it's such a weird, like, it's such a weird, it's like a weird slice of life thing. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, if you've ever seen the red or seen the anime of Sket Dance, um, how Sket Dance was able to make something that's like, oh, kind of like everyday life things of like feelings of, you know, loneliness and stuff like that and try and transition it into a story that even though it's ostensibly Jugalia losses of, I would say kind of a comedy. Actually, you know, actually it's a wide range of genres. But the point here is that I'm trying to say is that you don't need to have the end of the world to create a story that is literally just going to hit you in some emotional beats. And I think this one does the best at doing that for me personally. Um, I would definitely put... Um, the time event that I currently forgot the name of... A fractured, uh, a, fr a fractured future, I think is what it's called. That or I'm getting it confused with a Ratchet and Clank game. That one will probably be number one. And then number two for me would be a Crescendo of Courage. Though I think I personally like... You know what? I might even put Crescendo of Courage above that one. Yeah. I think for the overall cool story stuff in terms of like high stakes, it's the fractured future. But in terms of just pure character moments... The only thing about what's going on is based off of, like, a singular character. Which is funny, because the story that this kind of event... Maybe I'm, like, blowing it up too much, but I really do like it. I think I like to see that it's coming back. I was actually very sad that it was not coming back. Because the event that comes before it is fine, but this one I personally like the most. And I really do love Siren as a character, as a dragon. Um, they'll also unlock uh, Mana Spirals for Light Adventures in late August. So that includes Hilda... And uh, Julietta, and that's great because both of them need it, and I think both of them deserve it. And I would love to see that they'd be good. Light, I think, also, I think it's coming with a bunch of other mana spirals for, I assume, light, but who knows, right? <laughs> it can be kind of hard to tell sometimes. Um, based off of the one that we've gotten so far, which was for Halloween Ellie, they've kind of started off light, light, um, light buffs in a very bad way, but I'm still kind of interested to see what they would do so we'll see wait and see i might start holding on to a lot of my um stuff just because i don't really feel like mm, 
again, I'll talk about it as we get further down. So chapter 15 will be added to the main campaign in August. Chapter 14 was a critical juncture in the story, but chapter 15 will raise various mysteries that lead into the future story threads. It's connected to the next chapter. It will also feature the prince fighting with a certain sibling and dragon once again. The shadow attuned boss Tartarus will be added to the Aegito Uprising at the end of August. That means every single Aegito will be out. All right, good. Uh, now that every Agito will be out, every Agito, un- every unit going forward will now have a good idea of like, hey, is this unit good for this endgame content? Yes, no. And the answer is usually yes, but whatever. Uh, Draconic, bleh. Draconic Essences. New items called Draconic Essences were added in July update. The five dragons currently available through summoning have powerful stats and abilities. They're very important part of upgrading your teams. However, it was difficult to obtain the materials necessary to unbind them until now which is a stumbling block for players for when playing the game. By making certain dragons easier to upgrade, we hope to increase the number of players who are able to try different content in the game. Uh, we plan to increase the number of dragons who can be unbound using Draconic Essences little by little over time. We're also planning other uses for Draconic Essence in the future. We'll share more details in the update notification. It may t- please wait a little bit longer. Okay, cool. Galaxy Galaxy Remix. Um... This is just talking about there's going to be more. The cool thing about Gala Jugalia Remix is that it had double featured of old Gala Jugalia units. And it's it was very hard to actually pull featured Gala Jugalia units. So it was hard to pull unfeatured Gala Jugalia units. It's hard to pull featured Gala Jugalia units. So unfeatured ones were just borderline impossible. Um, I kind of don't like how quickly they come out, especially with no known... I think specifically for Gala Jugalia Remix, I can understand regular Gala Banner not being on a set rotation, but for Remix, there should be a set rotation, I feel. Just because it's like, I don't know, now we don't know when anything is going to be on Raid Up. Like, the first two one that were on Raid Up were Mars and Gala Cleo, <clears throat> because Gala Cleo is super well-loved and chased after because of how stupid good she is. And Mars was the first Gala Dragon, so they didn't really have any other choice but to put him on the feature to list, but... I don't know. Wait and see for this one. Future updates. With the updates at the end of August, you'll be able to use multiple summon vouchers at the same time when performing single summons. Additionally, you'll be able to use the autoplay feature in defensive battles, thank you. Also, it's a little early, but Jugalia Lost will celebrate the second anniversary in September. Like last year, there will be various promotional events where we're preparing an event that's related to the main campaign. We're also planning some new features that will share information gradually starting in September. I hope you're looking forward to it. So yeah, this month, I think for sure. And then in conclusion, three summon vouchers, um, single tickets, and some elder water. Thank you very much. This is the, this month. This is a very light month. But I think the reason is, is because as you know, <sighs> as you should know, especially with all gacha games, all gacha games, whether they're saying it or not, are affected by COVID. Um, Corona has just completely screwed up all kind of scheduling for them. So I think August is looking pretty light. With the exception of the Agito, which obviously is going to take a lot of effort not to... It's still kind of crazy how jam-packed this is. If you think that this is not a lot of content, you should check out what Fake Grand Order has been doing. On the JP side, where it's been dead for three months, basically. It's kind of crazy that Dragalia is somehow able to keep pushing forward, but I think it's also coming at the cost of us getting a lot more banners and us getting less free summons. I have noticed, for sure, it was already on a downturn, downturn, and now I feel like we're closer and closer to the second anniversary, and I have no idea if the... If you had told me a year ago, will the main first year anniversary be free summons? I would have said 100% yes, we always get free summons. Going into the second year, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. I actually feel like I have to make this a separate video to going into more details about what I expect to come from the first year. Um, but in terms of this month in Dragalia, I think there's just enough. There's like a smidge. There's two new things that are really coming to the game, and the rest is kind of like, hey, retreads and stuff like that. But I think it's fine for the most part. Like, again, you can't expect the old style of gacha games because we're just not living in that kind of world at the moment like if you want the gacha games to be working at 100 percent efficiency we as an entire world have to destroy uh covid19 and let me tell you right now hello i'm woki i make gacha videos i'm staying home 
That's all I do. <laughs> and that's not, doesn't seem to be helping, but that's all I can do to help. Um, so this is going to be kind of the way I think a lot of stuff is going to be looking. But the reason I think that this month specifically looks kind of like bare bones is that I really do hope that for the, for, for the second year anniversary, they just got jam-packed full of stuff. Like, I fully expect a lot of things to come from the second year. And if it doesn't happen, it's going to be a bummer. But I think they're going to try and deliver on as much of it as they can. And it's not going to be easy, for sure, because they are working at um, less than ideal conditions. Um, and I think it's actually very important to always remember the human cost that comes into these video games. Also remember that, even though I say that, Dragalia Lost is still something that asks you for your money. So if you don't feel like the game deserves your money, you should not give them your money. Um... It's a weird, really weird catch-22 of, like, how do I help support this game? I have no money. The game needs money. I don't know. The answer is I don't really know. But for right now, <laughs> it seems that they have enough Nintendo money backing them that there's no real threat. And also, being in the top 20 of something like uh, gotcha games, at least in the U.S. side that make money, helps, I bet, for sure. But anyway, that's it this month. I think I'm going to make another vi separate video talking about what I want to see out of the second year anniversary. Um, but for this month, looks like another chill month to me. Looks like you're just a lot of like, not, just very chill. Hang out, relax. Stuff like that. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, I'll leave you off with Sonoa Stredden for a bit. I'll see you guys in the next video. No, what? Why you ruin my? Why you gotta ruin my outro? The wind speaks to the lamentations of captives. So I'm talking to the lamentations of me, boy. Get off the screen so I can end the video. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever, which one of mine you watch. Goodbye. So much to experience. So little. Pretty. We'll see that the sun never sets on this land. Hey, you let me worry about the treasure. <laughs>